Hey everybody, this is Warren from the Fissionaries. After catching my first snakehead, the first thought I had was to make another first. So today, I'll be making snakehead fishing grits. Stay tuned. So let's get to it. Here's what you need to make this dish. Snakehead fillets, vegetable oil, a half cup of old fashioned grits, two cups of water, Louisiana fish fry, two tablespoons of sweet cream butter, a half cup of whipping cream. So the very first thing I do is prepare the fish. I didn't film the filleting process, but I'll link a good video um, to help you with it if you've never done it in the description below. At this step, after filleting the fish, I like to cut the fillets into chunk sizes. The texture of a snakehead meat is close to the catfish without as much of the, the red meat um, to cut away. After cutting the chunks, I rinse them again and then salt and pepper and then set them aside. The next step is to start cooking the grits. We're going to bring two cups of water and one and a half tablespoons of sweet cream butter to a boil. Once the water is boiling, add a half cup of grits. Once the grits return to a boil, turn the heat down to the lowest setting and don't forget to stir often. At this point, you want to preheat the vegetable oil in a medium saucepan filled one third to one half of its capacity with with oil. Heat the oil on a medium to medium high heat. Next it's time to bread the snakehead nuggets in the Louisiana fish fry. A half a package is more than enough for the, the amount of nuggets that um, this one fish created. Uh, bread them generously but be careful to shake off any loose breading to keep your oil as clean as possible. Oh and keep stirring the grits. After about 10 minutes, the grits will be thick, but not quite creamy yet. At this point, add a half a cup of the heavy whipping cream. Adding the cream does a couple things. It adds the necessary moisture to complete the cooking process for the grits so they don't be overly thick, but they still achieve that, that creamy consistency and it cuts down on the grittiness of the grits. Keeping them on a low heat, continue to simmer for another 10 minutes. The oil is hot and it's time to fry the fish. So add your breaded fish to the oil very carefully and one at a time. Oil baths hurt. Let the fish fry for five to seven minutes or until golden brown. I like to drain my fish on scentless, bleachless paper towels lining a colander or a strainer. This draws as much oil as possible away from the nuggets, guaranteeing just crispiness. By the time your first batch is done, the grits should be perfect. So nothing left to do but bowl up your grits. Finish them with a pat of butter, salt, pepper, sugar, cheese, whatever you like. I swear I'm not trying to start an argument. And plate up your fish, and it's time for the taste test. And there you have it, Fishinary's Kitchen. That is the snakehead fishing grits breakfast of fishermen all right everybody here it is we got it done snakehead fishing grits all right guess we got to do a taste test find me a good piece yeah it's all true snakehead is good oh man just good. So listen, it's time for me to go now. I gotta go. I hope you liked the video. Um, if you liked it, give us a like. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do right now. Check out all our videos. We got more catching cooks on the way. Um, I gotta go. I'm trying to run through this thing so we can go. Oh, and go fishing. Remember, go fishing. You can't cook nothing if you don't catch it.